I know. Hey guys. So I said I wasn't going to do this, but I'm doing it again. So it's uh, this company called Rainpoint contacted me and they have a self watering system for your house plants. And I'm like, yeah, because I have those rip salis up there and I hate getting a chair and I have to really stretch up there and get them down one by one and water them and then the water drips down and yeah it's just kind of a pain so I thought this would be a great thing to try on that and I hope it works so let's try it my husband Biff is here helping because he's awesome so anywho what came in the box is this this is like the timer right the yeah. like a timer and then these are, what are these called? Um, tube connectors. Tube connectors. There's 10 of them. Three of these. Oh, three of these, the cross ones. And there's 10 of the Ten of the T's. T's. There's a filter that you dip in the water. There's three stops, three just straight extensions. So three stops, these are the little ones. These are what you put on the end when you're at the end of the line. These are what? Like you can extend the tubing, like if you run out of tubing and you need more. So you put oh, on the Oh, gotcha. Other. So if you had to buy more tubing, you could go buy more of this. Although it came with quite a bit. And then just hook it on the other end there. And 10 of the watering spikes. Okay, and then these are 10 of the watering spikes, which will, I hope you can see, stick in the plant, and then... The tube goes on here. The tube goes on here? Mm -hmm. How? Because you have a T right here, and you have a tube going from here to here, and the, tube, the main tube goes okay. from here to here, and here to here to the next one, and then it'll have a T coming out. And the next one will have a tea coming out. Okay. Okay. So the only thing that you need is a container. Oh, you need some tools. You need four batteries, double A. <laughs> Thanks, Vanna. A knife. A knife. Or a pair of pliers. Snippers. Okay. Would scissors work or not? If you have better uh, scissors I mean, yeah, than if us. you have the industrial strength scissors, you don't want to okay. use house scissors. All right. And then, I don't know if you can see, actually, but something, a, a big container to put water in. Because... Vanna White. Ow. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Vanna. Because the... And so that'll... Okay, I'll say that after, but that's where it's going to suck the water from to water the plants and this thing you can water it from 20 seconds to 30 minutes oh at a time. yeah 20 seconds to 30 minutes good job i thought that said 20 minutes and i knew that wasn't right so. and the duration could be like an hour in between up to 23 hours or you can do one day up to seven days and then delay watering plan an hour to 24 hours i mean yeah, we're probably not going to do that, but I guess once you have it set up, like if you don't want it to do it, you can just hit the delay thing, however you do that, <laughs> and it'll, out, yeah. yeah, and it'll um, just wait to water it until you say tell it to. Okay, let's just do it. What are we doing? <laughs> Where are we going to put this, firstly? This has a little clip on it, too. Whoa. Okay, where are we gonna put that? Um, next to the bottle. Okay. Okay, so let's go over there. There's the water bottle I was telling you about. And there's the input and output. I'm not sure which one the instructions don't say. So we'll have to figure it out before we turn it on. So Yeah, what we're gonna do is run a line up to all these parts here. And then we'll put one of those stops on the end there. And then we'll also run 
we'll do a T and it'll go down to this one and we're just gonna put the rest of them on this because I don't know maybe it needs water I'm not sure what's wrong with this one but I think it could need more water okay so we've got the bottle here the timer behind there we were talking it would probably really be better to put the timer above so it doesn't have to suck it down and then up and just go up but I don't want to have to climb up there to do it so yeah so anywho what you doing Beth just cutting the first length the first length is the length that goes from the timer to the bottle yep inside okay. and the filter will go on the end of this one yeah so there's this little golden doohickey that goes on the end of the uh tube that goes in the bottle and it goes inside the bottle And like Rich said, or Ben. I don't know if this is in or out, but I'm guessing. Like, there's nothing on here that tells you. Is there a standard? No, if, I don't know it, if there is. Okay. So I'm going to guess it's this one. Hey, we're putting, well, he's putting the batteries in. Four double A's. And now putting it on the other one, it's doing nothing, right? Oh, oh, that's it. There we go. Mm -hmm. So what side? What? It's where do you put it? The top on? one. Put it on the top one to Coming. suck the water out of the water jug. Okay, so now he's measuring how much we need to go to the first pot there. And then he's gonna cut it. And then what do you need? A T. Okay, so he needs a T, which is this doodah, and then one of these. Okay, yeah. so he's putting a T in the end he cut. Oh, okay, so that's, you got to cut off a little piece of the tube to hook to this thing that sticks into the plant. Okay, so that's what it looks like so far. There's the thing that sticks in the plant, hooked to a little tube, hooked to the T. Here's the line that goes up from the pump to the T. Oh, okay. Okay, and he's going to stick that into the pot there in the back. Oh, this is pretty good because like wires and stuff bother me but you can't really notice that too much and it's worth it not to have to climb up there so anyway now he's just gonna stick the tube to the other side of the t and then do the same thing he just did and we'll show you once we've got them all up there okay so he's cutting all the strips are about two inches long right yeah, two to three, depending on where your pot is. Like, if yeah. it's a big pot, you're going to have to have a longer toast. Okay. And then I'm just going to hook them all on these. So you really got to twist these. And I have no hand strength. Does it have to go all the way to the... End, yeah. What's the end? So it's got to go all the way to, not this huge one here, but over top of this little one that's right before it. And uh, <laughs> okay, I'll I'll get it. So I lied. This tube has to go all the way to this big one, or else it's gonna leak. So I don't know. Good luck with that. <laughs> to get it to go on easy, you just have to get the tube wet. And um, this is a what this called? Not wet. Oh. Or hot, I mean. <laughs> you can just use a blow dryer. That's a shrink wrapper gun or whatever. Just a heat gun. Heat gun. But you can just use a blow dryer. And then once you get it hot, it. 
goes, where is it? Goes right on. Right to the. Right to that big part. While she's doing the heat gun, I'm gonna run the tubes and I'm just gonna measure, cut the tubes, measure from half of the pot to half of the pot. That's one tube all the way there. And cut, cut the tubes as you go? Yeah. Don't cut the tube with a razor knife. So we're debating if we want to test this in the tub first, because we don't really want to have to clean water and dirt off the wall if it's not the right time, because the lowest you can go is 20 seconds. However, testing it in the tub really isn't going to do the trick because it's going to be going uphill. Plus it's going to have a whole nother, well, not a whole nother, but a few nethers <laughs> mm -hmm. coming out in another plant down below. Which so you'll see in the later of the video. Yeah. So I think we're just gonna go for it. And if it makes a mess then that's just that's the way we do stuff. <laughs> okay, so what Rich did was he measured the piece of tubing so that it went to the middle of each plant, cut it off, hooked a T on, and then you remember I did these stakes with the little piece on them. So now we're excited because now and scared. Now, oh, now he's got to plug off the end here. No, I did that already. Oh, he did that right already. Here. That's... Sorry, this is the end. So he put a little tiny piece of... So he put a little tiny piece of tube on the end and then put the stopper, okay? And that'll go at the end of this line. Okay, so now he's sticking it in all the pots. And then the last one that I just showed you with the stopper in it will go in that one right there. Oh. And I want to say that I'm really grateful that I have a husband who will help me in all my shenanigans. But he actually is doing it and I'm just videoing it. Except I did put the little doohickeys on those other little doohickeys. <laughs> <laughs> we had a little leakage on the floor. Not a big deal. It's just because we had it hooked in the water thing to the pump and it was coming out the other side which was a hook that goes to the plants if that even made sense i think it might have <laughs> so anyway those are all hooked up and now we are hooking another one we're like gonna tee off of this pipe or tube, tube, tube. off of this tube that's going up and make it go down to this philodendron gloriosum and then we're gonna put three three stakes around the base around it okie dokie so we're a little worried because 20 seconds is a lot of 20 long. seconds is a, kind of a long time and that's a little pot and that's a little pot. and those are all little pots up there the ripsalis but it also has to go uphill to go to those. And I feel like most of the water is going to go downhill to that. Where am I? Where? Right there to the <laughs> so weird philodendron gloriosum. So my husband had an idea, sort of, let me tell you, or let him tell you. You're making juice, grape juice on the juicer. They have the little pinch thing clamp that goes, clamp that goes on the tube. It shuts off the flow of water, the juice. You squeeze it and then you can fill your bottle. So maybe you can get one of those to go on there. To, we yeah. may have to do that. Some kind of clamp to go, probably on the one that goes down to the Gloriosum is what I'm thinking. Do you think it, well, I think it might work out perfectly. This is what we come up with. These are just gonna stick in here. But that's with the um, the cross instead of the T's. So there you go. OK, 
Okay. Are you nervous? Mm -hmm. We were thinking another indicator of how much water is coming out is how much water we have left in our bucket. Hopefully you will notice that before we notice the water and dirt going down the walls. <laughs> Just kidding, not saying it's gonna do that. Cause I have really, like, I think it's gonna work out perfectly, but gotta be prepared. Side note, they gave us plenty of tubing. So our plants are pretty close together, but if you had some that were farther apart, I mean, how much do you think we used there? So we probably only used half. We're setting the time now. Come here, Booner. So Miss Booner, she had her, she went to the vet today and she had a surgery. Well, she had her teeth cleaned and they removed about half of them, I would say. So she's not, well, she's feeling real good <laughs> and she's feeling real bad all at the same time, huh, Booners? Poor girl. I don't know what Violet's doing over there. Violet, Violet. She's deaf and blind. I thought the that it wasn't working. We've got it set to go off for every four days for 20 seconds. And it seemed like the box wasn't turning on. <laughs> I don't know. It all of a sudden just turned on and you can see, gosh, I need to clean off that window sill, Grody. You can see it's set for every four days. I don't want to move it. Hopefully you can see that every four days, 20 seconds, you can see the water went down the tube. So once it stopped pumping it up to that tube, once the 20 seconds was over, it's going down and some of it's going down into this pot here. So you can kind of see, and it looks like it did water all all of those plants up there it went through the whole tube so that's awesome and it only used that amount of water so i think it was about to like right there and it's to right here now so i think that should be about right for every four days hey guys well thanks for watching i hope that um, you like this video and if you're interested in this uh automatic watering system. I'll put it down in the description. Have a great day. Plan on.